Okay, take five bases. I'm gonna be honest, we're abandoning this quest. Maybe I do those quests. Probably should just turn that quest in. This thing I'll abandon. Hinterlands, recover the key. Hitaya the Keeper. Okay, Gazrilla, I have to turn that in. Sealed Azure Bag. For now, we're going to abandon that. And I'm going to try to get as many quests as I can around here. Stalk the Stalkers. Hunt the Savages. Avenging the Fallen. Anything here? Nope. Nope. What do we got here? Message to the Wild Hammer. 15 High Veil Outrunners, 15 Scouts, Marksmen, and Rangers. That's a lot of killing. There's just a shitload of quests to do here, so it's great to, like, this is a great hub. You could do a whole lot of quest turn ins all in the same spot. Yeah, Slays, I think we did them on one of my alts. As I was like leveling up. 30 vile branch scalp. That's 45 more mobs. <laughs> what the hell? Rune of the guard captain. Very pog trinket indeed. Except that this guy, I believe he's just summoning here. Dark Vessels. This is another elite one. Okay, how full is our quest log? 18 out of 20. God damn, that's nice. That's so many quests we can do. I think I've picked up everything here now. And you're dead. God, I need to empty my inventory before I go out and do this. This was a bad idea. I should have gone to town first. I have way too much bullshit in my inventory. Uh, at least there's a mailbox. I can mail away a lot of stuff. Simonize bank. One, two, limited invulnerability. Three, four, five, poison resistance, limited invulnerability, arcane elixir, fap. Uh, these are important and need to stay in my inventory. Um, these can go. That can go. This can go, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. 200 Jagged Arrow, that's a good amount of Jagged Arrows to have. Okay, now we have a, we're a little bit better here. Some slightly organized stuff. Alright, let me change the stream title, too. Done. Stream title changed. 
Let's change the filters here. Add-ons, bulletin board, vanilla filter, unselect all, sunken temple. Okay, details, hide, show, looking for group. And we'll just have this up here. It should show us uh, if a sunken temple pug forms that we want to do. Oh, it's Gamarita. Okay, Gamarita might be hard to beat. I don't know. But we do have to kill that one. Let's give it a try. Kidney shot. Slice and dice up. As soon as the kidney shot fades, we hit evasion. Blade flurry up. Move away from the other turtle so the blade flurry doesn't accidentally aggro it big in Venom, we're actually killing this thing totally fine. It wasn't even remotely difficult. It's dead. Make this, like, a little bit bigger so I can read a little bit more. Okay, good. We're trying to just knock out as many quests as we can here. I think... Why is there not questy overlays here? Shouldn't it be showing me like a thousand different objectives? Like I thought there was a quest where you like pick up little bottles on the shore here. And I'm pretty sure I picked up every quest. Maybe I did that quest already on this character. And that's the problem. Like, that's one of the bottles, and it's not giving me a mouse over thing. Whatever, who cares? Pre quest last phase. That starts in. Bo oh, the quest starts in Booty Bay. Okay. That makes sense then, why we don't have it here. Big Mouth Clams. Can we get Golden Pearl from a Big Mouth Clam? Plan to finish all these quests and not turn them in. Right. The idea is we can just go to when when Phase 4 starts and we can level up more. I can go to Revan Tusk Village and I can turn in like 15 quests. One out of 200 chance. Unlucky. We'll probably get it on the next one. BM. Oh, this thing. Hang on. TBC filter. Unselect all. There we go. Wait, this paladin's trying to do quests, and but it's the same quests I'm trying to do. Classic paladin behavior, bro. What do you think's gonna happen when your divine shield goes away? That's a bot. It's probably... That seemed very bot-like. I, I, oh, wait, that guy's trying to do skinning? That's, dude, that's not allowed. I'm killing all the turtles and no one gets to skin them. Especially not if you're Alliance. Bro, I'm getting my Echoes of Dread. That means I can use the Nightmarish Power also. I 
I guess it's because this zone has an incursion in it. Waiting to restall. Master subtlety buff. The the flask is from alchemy. Range of melee attack power by 45. The benefits of this flask only apply in areas under the effects of the nightmare. Bro, he's skinning again. He's gonna come over and skin my turtles. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't think I can chase him at this point. No! Okay. <laughs> Hard to catch up with them when they're on the mount. Um... He's dead. I didn't actually have a slowing poison applied. I should probably... Oh, I don't have any slowing poisons in my inventory at all because... I deleted them. Or I sent them to my bank alt. He's back already. Bro, what the? What the fuck, bro? He's probably not going to quit. I'm at 14. I only need one more and then I'll just leave. And I won't care about him anymore. But right now, I care greatly about whether this guy is benefiting from my mob kills. He's in travel form. Dire Wolf is faster. Is he hiding behind that hill? I didn't see him move out of there. Nope, he's up the hill. Okay, equal speed now. Tried to get him. Well, he's not he's not farming my turtles. Okay. We scared him off. Mission successful. Oh shit, I just got a Serpent skin girdle. That doesn't seem very good. Okay, golden pearl. Nope. Uh, black pearl. Uh, worthless. We need a golden pearl. Okay, golden pearl. Okay. Um, awkward. How we didn't get any golden pearls. All right. So that's all the snap jaws killed and the elite snap jaw. Got that one, too. Something must be messed up with my questy. It's supposed to be, like, displaying a shitload of stuff on the map. Like, all these quests are tracked. I don't know why it wouldn't be displaying a bunch of stuff on the map. Maybe it was, has to do with that weird map bug I had before. Turn it off on the main map? I'm not sure. It seems like I did, but, like, left-click toggle questy. Like, it's only showing a couple of things. Eastern Kingdoms, Hinterlands. Objective? That's what I fucked up. There we go. Kind of struggling to load all of that, it seems. Okay.
Uh, this area, we need a bunch of these guys and their stealth, which is annoying. But at least they die pretty quick. Level 48, so they're not, like, that hard to detect in stealth. And there's another objective over here we can go to. Ooh, we got three. I only saw two of them. That guy snuck up on me. But, uh, perfect. It's even better for Blade Flurry. Just mow them all down. Oh, we got a... Husker Sword of the Tiger. Vendor value higher than disenchant value. Um, Where is the thing? There's a guy's toolbox here that we're supposed to get. But it has multiple different spawn locations. And it looks like it is not spawned right here right now so we'll have to go somewhere else to get it like it's over it's possibly there also or there or there okay so we'll just move out yeah it looks like a little bucket we have to kill 30 scalpers are all these quests like actually good yeah, okay, there's no, like, super low-level quests or anything. Oh, I just got an Aquamarine. man <laughs> powerful characters are fun to play why are you questing as Suferon? what we're doing is it's called a uh, pre-quest pre-questing uh where we're gonna complete all these quests but we're not gonna turn them in and then when phase four comes out we're going to have a quest log of like 18 to 20 quests all completed, ready to turn in to get a bit of a experience boost right off the bat to help us reach level 60 faster. And, you know, the reason we're doing this is because there's not much else to do at this point in phase three. <laughs> no, I mean, some of the quests we're doing, I know, give like 10,000 experience. Not those ones. But some of these ones? Okay, not that one either. 6,000... Uh, wait, how much are the... Am I doing this completely wrong? I... I Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's let's slow our roll here. 4,000 XP per... What are, what are the XP per on the incursion quests? I thought these... I thought the, at least the elite quests were going to be like 10k. Oh, no. Those... The incursion quests, sorry, 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 sorry. The numbers I'm looking at on the screen there are not with any experience bonus. But the amount of experience you see pop up on the screen when you do an incursion quest is with an experience bonus applied. Can I step into there? No path available? Unfortunate. Hmm. 
Mm, I don't think I checked the previous place I was at for the toolbox I was supposed to be looking for. Actually, it's not a toolbox. It's a bucket of tools. Wait, no, I think it's here. That's it. Yeah, okay, good. No problem. We got it. We need this thing. Skylord Plume. Okay. Kill that thing too. Skylord Plume acquired. What about this guy? Savage Owl Beast. I need to hunt the savages. 20, 20 kills of Savage Owl Beasts. Okay. I like this. I, I love it. The, the, my favorite thing about questing is when I can pick up like 10 or 15 quests at once and then I can wander around a zone and basically everything I come across is a quest objective for one of the quests that I picked up. And I don't have to think too hard about like, am I, you know, I have to go here for this quest. I have to go there for that quest. It's just like, no, literally everywhere I'm going is a quest objective. And uh, I'm just going with basically the same pre-questing strategy I did last phase, which is, like, I'm not investing a whole lot of effort in, like, figuring out exactly which quests will min-max my experience the most and, like, going to five or six different quest hubs to turn them all in. Um, my, my plan is to go to a total of two quest hubs. One where I'll start my character, and then I'll hearthstone to another one, and that will be the 20 quests in my quest log. Skulk Rock, you're saying, is a good ghost mushroom spot? We could go in and see if there are any alliance there. But I also don't have crippling poison right now, so my capability, because, because I simply mailed it away, so my capability to fight alliance that like actually are competent is uh limited yeah i mean we could use waylay instead but i can also just keep questing you know won't quest from incursions work as well Maybe, probably. But, uh, we're doing these quests. These quests will, like, for sure work. I think I think there's there's some chance that they change how incursions work. If they don't, it's just going to be an incursion fest to level up, which will be kind of obnoxious. I would guess that Blizzard's well aware that people don't like incursions generally. Oh, I just got a wild vine off of that guy. Okay, aggro you. Shadow step to you. Blade flurry. Slice and dice. Activate the helmet. Super duper fast attacking. And they're all dead. Good. 
good. I don't seem to have any quest objectives there, but let's keep going west. We got High Vale Scouts, Rangers, and Marksmen we've got to kill over there. And pick up probably some wolf kills along the way. These howlers. Ooh, and the owl beast. Wait, primitive owl beast. Wait. Even more primitive owl beast. Oh, you you want to keep fighting? We'll keep fighting then. He was kind of low level. Primitive Owl Beast does not appear to be part of my quest objectives. Razorbeak Griffin, also no. But that wolf there I need to get. Yeah, I think these are lower level or something. Oh, my inventory is almost full. I knew we didn't have enough inventory space for this bullshit. Gonna have to okay we should either turn around and empty the inventory or we should decide on a bunch of stuff that we're just gonna delete let's go back this way yeah let, let's turn around go to the event so far out of the way i think we should just delete a bunch of stuff and keep rolling on these quests just delete the stuff that's not very valuable Wait, that's a quest item. This is uh, Silvermane Wolf. Wolf, Wolf. Okay, even lower level. We don't need to kill any of those for our quest. But now we're at the Lodge with the High Veil dudes. These are kind of low level. Okay, so we're going to mow them down, basically. Outrunner, Outrunner. We're just entering stealth so that we uh, get Master of Subtlety. We're not even doing like a cheap shot or anything. This cheap shot, I mean, it costs 60 energy and it does zero damage. Not really the kind of ability we're interested in here. is trapped but there's a quest here but it's a low level quest let's not do it because it's level 47 i think it said it was a green quest there's no way that's avenging the fawns yeah there's no way that's a green quest and these ones aren't whatever we'll see we'll put it in our log and see if it says green or yellow or how much experience it says it gives Mm 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scouts, 4 out of 15. This will be 5 out of 15. What is this quest called? Message to the Wild Hammer. PvP quest. Supposedly. High Veil Rangers. We haven't killed any of those. We killed 5 of each of the other mob types. Incursions will be popular because... Of, yeah, I mean, incursions are popular because they're very efficient at giving rewards, both experience and gold. But, like, that doesn't mean they're content that people want to do. The content itself could be boring or frustrating. But people would still do them because it's, you know, one of the most efficient options for achieving their goal. So I I would rather oh there's a hunter. I will right, we'll leave him be for now. If he comes any closer though, you better believe we're gonna blast him. Marksman, marksman. Where am I going to find... Oh, there's one ranger in here. Okay, there's a couple ranger spawns. That's the mob type we haven't killed any of yet. Yeah, I mean, largest, you're 100% right on that. And I am the same way. It's like, you know, I considered for a while leveling the warrior up to max level and then, like, playing the warrior in raids and stuff and trying warrior. But it's like, well, I want to get this rune that's behind incursions. You know, maybe some of the incursion gear would be nice, too. It's like, I don't want to, I don't want to do incursions on a fourth fucking character, you know? And I'm just like, nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> so the idea of like having to go back to incursions, um, you know, to play, to, you know, reasonably play my other characters. It's like, yeah, that's, I mean, I just, I'd rather just, rather just pre-quest stack and do other degenerate stuff on my main. Oh, a rare spawn. Jalinde Summer Drake. Okay. Let's see. Anything cool? Abjurer's Gloves of the Owl. So that's a no. What is this? Chadra, a lord, then I bring him to Interran Mill. You are ineligible for, what the hell is that? Summoning, someone asked me if I can help with this quest. Venom bottles to apothecary. 
What do we gotta do? Like, kill a giant fucking spider, I guess? Alright, maybe we'll help this guy with his quest. I just got an out of the blue whisper. I'm pretty sure this does not benefit me at all. Chadra Allure. That's like here or here. One of those places. Jamal, uh, a tall eye exile. Asked me to get the quest Jamal on the prophet. Yeah, we're gonna not do that. 33,000 XP HP elite. That's a lot of health. Probably can't solo it. It's too much. Too much health to solo it. So luckily we have five people here. So I'm just gonna keep blasting, um... Blasting these guys until the rest of the group is ready. gonna happen when your bubble runs out nope second stun I'm dead <laughs> I didn't think there were two of them and I didn't I frankly didn't take it very seriously then there were two of them and I had to try hard and then it was it was too late at that point Alliance never travels solo. That's that's not true. That's definitely not true. They travel solo all the time. <laughs> Alright, luckily we're not very far away from the res... Shin Digger's camp. This looks like a dwarf camp. Alright, any paladin sightings? What's the paladin situation looking like? I do not see them. Unit scan. Add one guy to unit scan. Add the other guy to unit scan. Okay. They are both added to unit scan. They're ready. Okay, yeah, I should head south. Irawatha, Weatherbark, Hide Skinner. Don't need those. 
All right, sounds like I need to do go tank runes to fight this giant elite spider. See how that goes. Silver, main, wolf. We do not need to kill those for our quest. Now there's like a whole bunch of horde around here. These people aren't even in our group. I wonder what they're doing. Is this like some kind of good farm spot for some reason? That I'm not aware of? Let's see. We need flesh wound. And blade dance. And rolling with the punches. Okay, we're good. All right, where does this big spider boy spawn? Summoning, summon spider god. The name of this spell. Okay. Um, where are you at? Oh, poof. Oh boy. That, that's a big boy there. That's a really big boy. Blade Flurry taking out the other spider. I think we have two tanks right now. I think Vakuno is trying to tank as well. Maybe a bit of miscommunication on that. This thing's level 55. What the hell? Do my taunts keep resisting? Thick spider silk. It's mine. Goblin Nutcracker of Power? Hell yeah, dude. Trade me for reward? Okay. 25 silver? I'll take it. He's a quest NPC. <laughs> Is this Cataclysm? No. This season of discovery. Uh, Alita TV says, if you were not on a PvP server, what zone would you farm Rich Thorium? Um, basically, you just go around until you find a zone where you don't have competition. Uh, what you gotta understand is nodes spawn in clusters. And, like, if you look at- if you have an add-on like GatherMate that shows you where all the, like, potential node spawns are, you can look at the map, and you can- you can kind of guess which nodes are clustered together. And all the nodes that are in the same cluster, what that means is only one of them is gonna be spawned at a time. And when you mine one of them, another node in that cluster will respawn within two to six minutes. Uh, you know, somewhat variable, but a node in that cluster will always respawn, you know, in, in just a couple minutes. So, like, if you look in Eastern Plague Lands, uh, I don't have it on this character's map because this character doesn't have mining. But there's, like, five nodes right around here. Those comprise a cluster of nodes. So if you just sat... Hang on. If you just sat around here, checking those, like, five nodes or whatever, you'd get a node every two to five minutes or whatever. There's another cluster here. There's a, there's a couple of uh, things like that. Farming in an area near a cluster. Yes, if you can find mobs that you can kill that are also around a, a cluster of nodes then you can be doing something during your downtime as well. What is your day job? Well, it's during the day, and uh, I'm doing this, so uh, 
this is my day job. Also, we're not going to do Doom music for Hinterlands questing. Diddy Kong Racing? Let's go. Gnarlic Red misspellings mean your argument is invalidated. That is true. How's it going? Did you enjoy reading... It, did you enjoy reading the... Um, intense debate... Uh, the intense debate over whether or not it's uh, cool to uh, go out of your way specifically to deny people world buffs. Whatever. You, you know. You read it. I got fucking fairy fire on me. 1,000 armor off of this mob's fairy fire? What the, what the frick, dude? That's a lot, dude. Why can't druids reduce that much armor with their fairy fire? Yeah, it felt to me like a lot of people being like, this is really dick behavior. And then a lot of people not directly defending it or contradicting, even attempting to contradict that it's just being a dick. And being like, it's a PvP server, bro. It's, it's not explicitly forbidden. Why are you criticizing me? All right, we got enough outrunners. We got enough scouts. So now we just need rangers, which only go in a couple uh, little areas here. In the building. And around the corner over here are also rangers. Scout, scout, scout. Uh, I saw there was another player over here. They might have wiped out all the... Rangers here already. This looks like a lootable quest item that I'm not on the quest for. Ranger, marksman. What about over there? Ooh, there's more rangers over there. Okay, let's do a little swimming adventure. We need three more rangers. Oh, I still have all of my stupid tank runes on from when I helped with the quest. Let's fix that. I just I pressed R thinking I was going to envenom the dude. Then I got Blade Dance instead. And I was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. Something's wrong. <laughs> Scout. Marksman. Can I jump up? Yeah, I can jump up here. I don't have to go around to the front of the building. I think we need one Uno Mas. Yeah, one more Ranger, and then we're good. This is... A lot of these quests in Hinterlands are like a massive amount of mob kills. It's kind of crazy. Like, this is a 60 mob quest. Lemadrict says you just get oh uh, no we killed Lemadrict earlier we we suspect that he might be a bot he was over farming turtles uh, on the eastern shore that wasn't one of the two paladins that killed us near the lodge here I do this escort it looked like someone else was doing it just a second ago 
And if it's already respawned, then maybe it's a pretty short uh, escort. Then find his hidden secret at the Overlook... Whatever. Quest for the Trinket. You mean the Rune of the Guard Captain? I already have this thing. This escort is not hard. Is this it? Oh, I thought I thought it was about to stop and then I was about to get quest completion credit. Oh, hell yeah, dude. A ranger spawned during this quest. That's the last ranger I needed to kill. Perfect. That worked out nicely. And you're dead. That's gonna aggro, probably. Yup. Okay. I hope this quest turns in at Revan Tusk Village. I, I do not want to do this quest. <laughs> I don't care about this quest if it doesn't, if the quest turn in is not at Revan Tusk Village. What's people saying about next phase release? No confirmed information yet. If people are saying things about it, they're talking out of their ass. They don't know. They don't know because there's no confirmed info about that yet. No way we're getting that thousand armor fairy fire again. Silk cloth, we can actually delete that. That's not valuable at all. Basically vendor price item. Damn, I'm stoked on this. Look at this. Fucking 30 attack power, 18 agility, 17 stamina. Bonus armor on this thing too. Death Guard Cloak. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Got our Defilers stuff. God damn it, this is where the quest turns in? Are you serious? Rinji's secret, all the way- I'm not- I'm just gonna go turn that in, like, now, basically. We're not saving this one for the quest, pre-quest stack. Yeah, phase three of Season of Discovery, Kazina, at this point, is one where you kind of need to make your own content or do preparation for the next phase. You know, the, the, the pre-existing content in the game is, is basically done. Like, we've done Sunken Temple a lot. You only do Sunken Temple once a week. You know, there's not too much about it. What do I need here? Silver Mane Howler. Okay, that's what Questy thinks is here that I need. Vile Branch Soothsayer. And Vile Branch Scalpers. Okay. Oh, there we go. I invited that guy. He doesn't seem to want to join into my group. Seems like he's working on the same thing as me. Could definitely join group.
deleted. Soothsayer? Oh, stealth cooldown is too long. Couldn't re-stealth and get another Master of Subtlety buff fast enough. Oh, we're aggroing the elites. Mm, probably should vanish and just not fight those guys. Go around here. Fight these guys. Uh-huh. Solid chest. I have two inventory slots. Three inventory slots. Zero inventory slots. Mm, that's... Uh, get rid of that. Moonberry juice. Pumpkin. I'll eat one of them, then delete the other. Troll sweat. Really not being, like, efficient with our inventory here. Just, just deleting things over and over. Instead of going back to town and vendoring stuff. Or, you know, cleaning the inventory in any reasonable way. Uh, Zala TV asks, has Runecloth tanked on your realm also? It got down to like 18 silver at one point. It's not that low last I checked today. But let me tell you what, when it dipped below 20 silver, I bought a fuckload of it. I think it might be a good idea to buy like leather, rugged leather, thorium bars, and um, rune cloth. If they do anything, you know, new or fresh with crafting, you know, those are the like primary crafting materials that a lot of stuff needs. I think it's a reasonable guess that any new thing would use one of those materials. Now, look, Brett says, no idea how you play this bulky ass dude. No, dude, I specifically got the extra wides. Dude, look at how wide my shoulder pads are. They're the best. It's the widest, thickest. I like it. I like it in Classic WoW when my character looks goofy. That, that's that's what I think. Will it be possible to turn all of our plumes into tinket, trink, tickets once we get the fair again? Uh, yes. As soon as the fair comes back, I'm going to turn in as much of my quests as I can to... Or, sorry. As much of my ticket things as I can to... Just make sure there's no funny business about how the ticket turn-ins work. So, Monday, when the fair comes back. Did they give a release date for Phase 4? No confirmed information that I've heard yet. Scalpers. Okay, we have enough of the Soothsayers. We need to do a bunch more Scalpers, though. 20 out of 30. Is this Cataclysm? No. In case you were wondering, it's also not Mist of Pandaria Remix. When's Cata release? I don't know. I haven't been paying attention to Cataclysm anything. I mean, I basically, I paid attention to finding out that it's still going to have WoW token. Uh, a, a store for unique cosmetics, character boosts, and, you know, all those other paid services. And uh, that apparently the raids, you know, what I've heard is that the raids are going to be very hard. Uh, not sure. They, they did have an interview where they said they're doing post-nerf versions. So maybe they aren't turbo hard? I'm not sure. What, what people have told me before is that, like, you know, when I was, uh, complaining about how hard Heroic Lich King was, people were, would be telling me stuff like, Ha ha ha, 
Just wait till you fight heroic Ragnaros. If you can't handle this, you're just you're just a wrath baby and can't won't be able to handle Cataclysm. It's like, joke's on you, dude. I'm not even playing that game. Howlers here. Do we need that guy? No. Also, don't need this red wolf meat. Wicked claw. Delete. Um. What else should we delete? Ooh, howler. Need three more. Ooh, there's another one. Okay, here's the plan. Bow shot. Walk over to this one. Slicey dice. Gonna need only one more howler after these two. There it is. That's the last howler. Really having some inventory space issues here. My inventory is not really holding up. Troll sweat, I can delete that. Don't need to kill that howler anymore. What do we got down here? Scalpers. We could probably pick up more scalpers over there. In this area, we've got Savage, Owl Beast, and Silvermane Stalker. Oops, I just got dismounted by this stupid ooze. And Venom got... Didn't connect or whatever. Lifeless Skull. Let's just delete that right away. Not super interested in most of the random items. I'm trying to get some quests done here. I think a fresh Cataclysm server would be... You know, without boost or token would be more appealing to me than... An existing one with boosts and token. Although I did hear, I heard one positive change I liked about Cataclysm so far. In their initial implementation of the transmog system, they allowed certain legendaries to be transmogged and did not allow other legendaries to be transmogged. And in their initial implementation, they said, no glaives. They said, no transmuting war glaives. Not allowed. But they changed that, and uh, supp supposedly, I'm told, I haven't logged into Cataclysm yet, I'm told you can now transmog Warglaives. Which is kinda poggers. I wonder if I can turn daggers into Warglaives. Do they, yeah, like maybe, maybe I, <laughs> you can't, god damn it. So I can't play Assassination with Warglaives and live out my fantasy. Dude, what's... Imagine paying a subscription for this game and they don't even let you transmog your daggers into Warglaives. Right, I was going to this area. Owl Beasts and Silvermane Stalkers. While we go through this area, probably go over towards here kind of. Savage Owl Beast. Let's go. Yeah, dude, what is up with that? Why is the in-game sex change option at the barber shop? Like, that's a strange as fuck barber, if you ask me, okay? What kind of barber is also just like, oh yeah, on the side, my business also offers sex change operations. 
<laughs> it's like, uh, what? <laughs> A lot of owl beasts in these woods. I'll put an end to that. Silvermane stalker? Someone else killing these Silvermane stalkers. That wasn't me. This is actually a great zone to quest in. Uh, because it has the incursion, so I can use my I can use my alchemy flask that only works in the nightmare areas. And my paranoia mantle is popping off. Uh, I like that I get these extra power boosts for questing in hinterlands. Look at all these vile branch scalpers, dude. How many more do we need? Four. This is only three. Well, damn. Almost done here. Still not able to mod glaives? Wait, did you like log in and try that, Ritter? Because I was other people told me that they, they made the change and you can gla mod glaives. Are you trying to do it onto like a dagger or are you trying to do it onto another sword? You're saying you can't do it. Damn. So you're saying someone came into my Twitch chat on the internet and lied to me? Who would do something like that? Who would go on the internet spreading lies? What a terrible person. Yeah, Braxigar, we're not talking about um, Thunder Fury. We know you can mog some glaives, or sorry, some legendaries, but glaives are apparently off limits. The war glaives of Azanoth, you can't do. Yeah, but Ritter, if, if all you do is use uh, Eye Morph, then it's like other people don't know that you have the War Glaives, okay? Inventory full. Fucking classic. Let's see, Red Wolf Meat. Mm, large Trophy Paw. Silvermane Stalker. Yes, we need to kill these two. Get rid of the Black Pearl. He's killing stuff. We'll just go over this way, I guess. Had a pre-patch was kind of scuffed big time. It was absolutely big time scuffed.
8 out of 15 on the stalkers. Hunt the savages, savage owl beasts. We need five more of them. Trying to go around and find these silver mane stalkers. There we go. Quests where you have to kill stealth mobs. Pretty fucking annoying, if you ask me. Here's one. Ooh, there's two. I didn't even know it was two. Red wolf meat? Nope. Tender wolf meat? Nope. Wonder how many people are... Um, how many people in chat are frustrated that I'm deleting items instead of going to a vendor. Vendor's too far away. Don't care, I'd do it. I, I figure, I figure it, it tilts some people. Probably not as many people as are just categorically tilt, you know, are, are just uh, upset that I don't have a bag add on. When you got 3k in the bank, it doesn't really matter. True. True. Any other one percenters in chat? Hang on. Anyone else in the one percent money bags club? Just stop looting. Edge masters won't drop. <laughs> no, I click on the thing to loot it because there's sparkles. Okay, it compels me. Ooh, there's another stalker. Let's get it. Okay, good. Blade flurry off cooldown. And uh, that's actually all the stalkers we need. Okay, map. Owl beasts. We're five short on those. Before we go into Jintha Allure, I, I will go back to town and empty some of this inventory. And then we'll go to Jintha Allure and clean up whatever we need to do. The Jintha Allure stuff, like, uh, those guys are elites. We might try to find a group for some of that. Um, but I have, like, pretty specific things I need to clean up. So, like, helping a group out with, like, all of their quests might take, like, way longer than I really want to be doing. It's like, there's, there's like, uh, let's see, I need to kill five Amansazi guards. I need to kill Hitaya the Keeper. And I need to loot ten dark vessels. Which I'm pretty sure I can do that all without a group. Stalker, don't actually need the stalker anymore. Just need this guy. He's very dead. Oh, my uh, our flask of everlasting nightmares wore off. Okay, we'll find the next guy. And then uh, when we dismount, I'll uh, activate the flask. Here we go. Big attack power bonus. 
Mm -hmm. That's 17 down. Three more to go. I'm trying to look between the trees here. See where they are. I don't need these ones. Skylord. I already got the Skylord plume. Here's one I need. Yeah, I'm a little worried that I don't have a healing potion. Like, maybe some of the elites are going to be too tough for me. Like, maybe the elite boss. But I think, I think, like, this character's, like, giga geared. I think what's probably going to happen is I, I'm just going to drop them. And it's like, it's going to be fine. Wait, here we go. We don't have to mount up to get to this guy. There we go. Okay, so we have mo basically all the quests that are, you know, in the open area. Those are all done now. So we'll go back to town, empty the inventory. Then we'll go into Jintha Allure and we'll kill the, do the Jintha Allure quest that we need to do. A couple of things in there. And then we'll be well on our way to having a good, um... Prequest stack done here. Lard's special picnic basket. Four gold for this quest. We have to go to this little island to get Lard's lunch. Go this way. And we can jump off the waterfall, use slow fall. Probably coast most of the way with slow fall. Uh, over to that island. God damn it. Brent. BDG Kenzen. Hello, thank you very much for the Prime. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a great day. And I appreciate your support. We, uh, you know, it's it's phase three season of discovery, you know, week, what is it, like six or eight? It's getting a little, it's, it's, it's getting a little dry at this point, but we're still doing plenty of things, you know, we're, we're planning to go super fucking hard when, um, when the next phase comes out, when it's phase four time, ooh, we're prepared. All right, I can't activate my slow fall. While I'm in combat. So I need to off this dude. It's phase 4 date confirmed. Not that I'm aware of. Alright, if I jump from here, I think I'll touch that rock, which won't be good. So let me try to jump onto this rock. And then we'll go from here. Alright. And slow fall and delete some stuff in my inventory in the meantime. Ooh, I do have a healing potion. I have superior healing potions. Snapjaw. Oh, there's a large picnic back picnic basket. There we go. That's what we wanted. Preparation guide for phase four? I do, kind of. Wait, hang on. What the fuck? File branch kidnapper spawning. Three of them? What the hell? And I'm still at full health. It's a damn shame. Okay, well, now we got Lard's lunch. So that's good. Uh, okay, let's go this way. I'll get you the link to the preparation guide. YouTube, Simonize. 
Level 60 preparation. Prepare. Close enough. This covers a lot of stuff that I'm doing to uh, prepare. Not everything, but a lot of stuff you can do. Uh, slipshod redeem for change hat. Not really liking the top hat, huh? I, okay. Okay, fine. No more top hat. There it is. 11 greater eternal and a brilliant from 20 headbands. That's good. That's above average, stinky fist. Ah, <laughs> uh, congratulations on your free money. Less Abe Lincoln, more Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's, a, that's about right. That's the vibe we're going for. I wonder if that druid is here skinning my turtles again. Because if they are, I'm going to stop them from skinning the turtles. Mm -hmm. These guys are neutral. They won't attack me if I run by them. Not seeing any uh, alliance druids here. Alright, we made it back to town. Let's first talk to a vendor. Oh, we gotta- hang on. Make sure Questy is not auto-completing quests. Okay, good. Don't want to accidentally turn in one of these quests that I'm preparing and saving up. I do want to vendor a bunch of crap. Okay, well, there, I didn't actually have that much crap. Uh, the rest of it has to be mailed off to my bank alt. Send mail. Simonize bank. This, and that actually goes to my tailoring character. This goes bank, 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 bank. Um, what else do we have? I think that's all. Then Simonized Druid is the tailor. So that, 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 and that. And then, uh, oh, the thick hide should go to Simonized Bank. Yeah, okay. Okay, to Jintha Allure, we have a couple things to knock out there. Think incursions will give XP in phase four? I don't know. I hope that they don't. If they're if the way that they work and the like how you participate in incursions is is unchanged, I hope they just make them not give experience because it's it's really repetitive, and I would I would like it. If, you know, there was not, you know, additional reason to go back in and do more incursions. I think if they want to make incursions continue to be relevant, they should make substantial changes to how players engage with the system. Because right now, it's, it's just so mind-numbingly repetitive. Oh, who's this? Druid Dog.
He does not appear to have very much health. Got him. We need additional honor on this character just to buffer a little bit, you know? We got up to our honor threshold, but it's like we could always use a little more. Okay, so we need the Vessel of Tainted Blood. We need 10 of those. And then we need to kill just a couple of mobs near the top of this place. So the mobs down here, we don't need to kill, like, unless they're guarding one of the vessels that we need to loot. I guess maybe we don't need to really be in stealth. There's a vessel. It's gonna be two mobs to fight here. What is he doing? Is he gonna try to... Okay, if he tries to loot the vessel after I fight the mob, I'm just gonna vanish. Let's see. I'm gonna pull the mob back here. Is this a line of sight blocker? Apparently not. Wow, that guy got riggedy riggedy wrecked. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure I didn't aggro that headhunter also. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I had way more guys on me than I thought. I didn't see there were two more over there that were on me. Okay, I had to pull out with a pull out with a vanish. Heal up a little bit. Working hard for this this in particular vessel of tainted blood. Where'd the shaman go? Shaman appears to be gone. Was there like a call for help type of thing that aggroed extras? Skip it, go next vessel? Nah, no, dude, I'm committed at this point. Drag him back a little bit. Nope, now he's into throw mode. Clean. Vessel number one. No, we got deadly brew uh, for poisons and I do not have any sharpening stones in my inventory. So, that is not an option. I don't have a lot in terms of consumables, because we cleaned up most of our inventory, so we had more inventory space for questing. Is there a vessel down there? I mean, should we go? Nah, we shouldn't go back down. We gotta make it all the way to the top anyways. We should keep going up. Stealth spec? No, we got a we got a combat build with blade flurry and repost to make it. Ah, oh, fucking hell! Did not mean to aggro that guy. Oh god, don't aggro that guy. Nice. Okay. Uh, combat spec with blade flurry and repost to give us like maximum combat effectiveness, like make us really good at actually fighting things rather than being better at sneaking around. Vessel three? Yeah, okay, we're at three. Th three out of ten. There's another one right here. Do okay, these are more plentiful than I remember. Wait for that guy to walk away. Oh, he's coming back. Okay, 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 okay. Don't aggro the dude. Wait. Oh, I shouldn't have distracted him right there. Um... Let's just wait. No, let's wait. Let's wait, 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 wait. He can walk away. It's fine. I was thinking if I didn't distract him, I wouldn't be able to re-stealth before he aggroed me. So then I just, like, distracted him real quick. And then I was like, what, now I have to wait even longer. Hmm. 
Mm, okay, there's some vessels over there, but I say we keep going up. The mobs that we need to kill are up above. Mm, we can go this way. I don't think there's any. Oh, there are mobs there. All right, stealth time. Thinking we were going to get by without uh, having to stealth. That is not correct. I'm going to get this with uh, no combat, I think. Nice. Number five. We're just chilling, just chilling. Around the corner. Oop, there's mobs over there. Here's a cauldron. Zap that guy. Loot the cauldron. Making sure we secure the, you know, secure the bag first, then fight the mob. Mm, maybe against these berserkers, I should save my kidney shot till they're low. Because they do the enrage and then they do a bunch more damage to me. Alright, we're at 6 out of 10 cauldrons. A little bit of healing. A little bit of sprint the hell out of here. Let's just leave that. We'll get the cauldrons. Uh, I'm sure we'll get the cauldrons. We don't have to get every single one we see. We got quite a ways to go still to make it to the top where we um, have our other objectives. I don't want to go like out of my way to pick up a cauldron because I think I think we're gonna find enough cauldrons that are like super easy to get on our way to the top. That's just to go faster. Jump ahead with shadow step. Ooh, Shadow Hunter. I'll, I'll take this one. It's like right here. Um, I guess we'll kill this. I didn't want to have to kill it. Swear to God, if someone tries to loot this cauldron, I'm going to vanish the mob onto them. Damn right. This is why we save our vanish. Also, because we might need it later for something more important. We could have just vanished when that mob aggroed us and moved on with our lives, but like... Vanish is useful for some stuff. And, like, we weren't in any particular danger of dying. We were just in danger of, like, losing 30 seconds. Okay. We're at this mid-level. We just want to go upstairs again. Vile Branch, Amon, Sazi, guards. Yeah, we do need to kill these. And he's guarding a cauldron, a vessel. These guys are 51 elites. Gonna be the toughest mobs we're fighting, probably. Big stun. Well, the toughest mo- Oh, that guy just hit me. Wait, he just hit me for a lot. Mmm. Toughest mobs we're fighting don't seem to be that tough. They did do a lot of damage to me. I have to kill, what, four more of them? But we've got to go into a different cave where there's going to be plenty more. So I'm not going to go out of my way to kill that guy. I killed this one because he was guarding a cauldron. Go over this way. 
You have to kill a particular named mob at the back of a cave, and the entire cave is filled with Amansazi guards. So I imagine we'll be killing a couple of them in that cave. Aggroing these stupid wolves. I think I can run away from them and de aggro. Yeah, okay. We're good. Kind of all over the place, though. Alright, let's go in. Vile Priestess Hex. We don't need to kill that guy. The back of this cave that we're going for. It has Keeper... Kiratha the Keeper or something like that, I think is the mob name. Distract left. Go right. Ooh, there's a Ghost Mushroom, too. Ghost Mushroom's pretty good. But I'm not an herbalist, so I can't get it. Alright, let's mix up the music. Oh, never mind. I thought it was at the end of the track. Or the end of the soundtrack. Because it was just playing some weird noise. I know exactly where I'm going. Okay. Please don't aggro me. God damn it. Hmm... I think maybe I should have vanished here rather than attempting to fight them because I might need my evasion cooldown to fight the big guy. The, the big monster that we're going after here. Which means I'd have to wait five minutes. Okay, he's disarmed. He's no longer disarmed. I don't have... Uh, I have to burn my... Oh, he just started running. I didn't need to burn that healing potion. But I was uh, close to death there. The cooldowns were definitely needed to live, obviously. Um, yeah. But now we're kind of out of cooldowns. We have Vanish. We have Thistle Tea. We could, we could Blood Fury walk up to this mob in stealth, like cheap shot it, then try to big blast and use the thistle tea and then vanish to get away. Here we go. Not sure how many mobs come with it. Oh, two. Holy shit. I do not have a prep uh, talent specialization right now. This is probably going to be a sap and blind opener. Without evasion, those guys will just... I'm afraid they will just chunk me. And I have to... I have to just pray that, uh... My deadly brew doesn't poison them. Well, let's see how this goes. I think I can get this. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. But we got it. We got the shackle key. Now I just need to find a place that's safe to unstealth so I can heal up a little bit. I think if I'm here, I probably don't aggro either of those guys. I think I'm far enough away from both of them. Oh, we're about to find out. Not in combat. Okay. Can you distract, like, only one of them so he stops patrolling? Maybe, but there's... Uh, you can do that with some patrols like that. 
but it's patrolling over such a small area. I'm not sure Th that would have been a good thing to try. I didn't think of it before engaging. Uh, yeah, I mean, we need two more of these. If we fight them one at a time, I think we'll be fine without, like, needing to use consumables to beat them. See, I just got a repost on him. So I'm going to wait till the repost is over, then kidney shot. Because he can't do much to me while he's disarmed. That repost is very powerful. Ooh, I got another one. Yeah, that went much better than the first time I fought one of those guys. Let's just exit the cave. There'll be at least one on the outside we can get. I'm thinking maybe one of the outside ones is guarding a... Guarding a uh, vessel of whatever taint... What are they called? Vessel of dark blood or something? Whatever. Vessel of tainted blood. For the quest, Dark Vessels. File branch, Amon Sazi guard. Like, what about this dude? He is not guarding shit. You just kill him anyways, okay. Back him up just a little bit. Disarmed. Disarm ended, kidney shot. gonna run. Please don't aggro something. Please, 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 please. Okay, we're in trouble. Okay. Oh, I'm... Wait. Oh, no, I had... I got polymorphed, and because I wasn't in the middle of any kind of PvP, I didn't immediately think, oh, I can trinket this polymorph. It took me, like, one extra second to realize that I could have pressed my greater insignia of the horde and kept running. Okay, so we have all the Amansazi guards killed. We have the the key. We have to turn in the key at the guy up here. So we still have to talk to him. And then we need what is it? Two more vessel of tainted blood. And then we're done with our Hinterlands quests. Uh, we gotta turn in this quest also. This is not- a, we don't want to do this quest, really. We wanna turn it in so it gets out of our quest log so we can get something that's easier to turn in. My plan is, like, we'll turn in quests at Reventusk Village here. There's a whole bunch of them. And then... Maybe, like... Perilous incursion quests, or perhaps the other location for the other, like, to fill up our quest log to 20 could be, like, um, Searing Gorge. We could definitely do some quests in Searing Gorge. This was unfortunate, man. I, I almost had this whole Jintho lore thing solo without dying. Got to the very end. Screwed it up. Stinkfist says you're trying to pump these disenchants and there's only 16 rugged leather on the auction house total. Yeah, such is life. Well, that's that Stinkfist, that's when you start being of the opinion of uh thinking like we need more skinning bots on this server, man. There's not enough rugged leather. <laughs> if there were more bots on the server, there'd be more rugged leather on the auction house. And it would be lower priced. And that would benefit the people trying to craft it into something, disenchant it, and flipping it for more.
Okay, at least we rezzed in a spot that's like, or we like died in a spot that's like easy to res at. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for Priestess Hex to patrol over there. Then we can sap that idiot. Then we can turn in our quest. I don't really want to try to turn in the quest again with Priestess there. Because Priestess is going to hex me. And then I'm going to die again. It's going to be annoying. Just want the, to, to go. Go that way. Oh, wait. Someone else sapped the, the guard? Wait. Hang on. Team effort. Gouged. Vanish. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Okay, well, whoever that is that's helping me out here with these random van- uh, with that sap. I- I feel- I feel like that was a stream viewer. Thank you. I don't feel like that was just a totally random encounter in Currents- <laughs> Currents that I'm talking about sapping this thing and then, like, someone else walks up and saps it. Salute. <laughs> Can I get this without aggroing? Probably not. Let's find out. Maybe I can be like out of line of sight and it won't aggro. Hell yeah. Getting it without aggroing the guard. Sneaking around. Okay. Re, uh, re stealth. Alright, we need one more, uh, vessel thingy. Looking for one of those. I know there's a couple in this, uh, building thing here. Probably unstealth and it's fine. And also, if we just run out of, uh, out of the place, we'll probably find one. Yeah, let's just run out and expect that we're going to find at least one along the way out. Hmm, all these mobs are dead. Maybe whoever killed them left behind a thing. No, they did not. We looted one right there before, but it looks like it has not respawned yet. Berserker. Campfire. No. Wait, there's one. Target acquired. There's also a spawn point here but it's not spawned what if what if there's an easier one to get slightly uh farther down this looks like i'm gonna aggro multiple mobs and by multiple i mean just one let's get it no one's coming to take my thing while I kill the mob. Okay. Good. Most excellent. Ten of ten. Stealth. What is this? Oh, okay. I was I was opening my map to like double check there were no more objectives left. I remember those two objectives. I did those already and those quest items are in my bank, which is why Questy is showing them as an objective I need when they actually are not an objective that I need. So now we got to go here, turn this quest in. I'm not Oh, wait. It's the guy that we fought before. 
Okay, well, that's his own fault. He attacked me that time. And I didn't even I thought I thought it was like a stealth wolf that attacked me. It took me a couple seconds to realize that it was a druid player. And then, you know, we solved that problem. Let's see, so we want to go approximately this direction. Jump, slow fall. This quest, I don't want to save in my quest log because the turn-in location is not convenient. I really only want to have quests in my quest log for a pre-quest stack where, like, it will be convenient and fast for me to turn in a whole bunch of quests. And there ain't no way I'm going all the way out to this stupid uh, rock to turn in one additional quest. We'll get a, we'll get a quest. We'll, we'll pick some place like, I don't know, Searing Gorge or Feralus Incursion to fill up the rest of our quest log. What is this quest about? Rinji is trapped. Escort Rinji out of Queldenil Lodge. We did that. Then find his hidden secret at the Overlook Cliffs to the east. Uh, it doesn't really tell me what I'm going to get. Got something nice for Orc if he helps Rinji out of here. Hiding something secret at the Overlook Cliffs. Okay. Okay, we'll find out. We'll find out what Rinji's secret is. Okay. Opening. This troll tablet must be the secret that Rinji was talking about. Covered with strange markings, you cannot decipher what the tablet says. Oh, wait. Oran Snake Writhe, a well-known scholar on matters concerning the Witherbark trolls, may be able to decipher the tablet. She is known to reside within the magic quarter of the Undercity. Okay, I guess we're going to Undercity next. I got the tablet. I saw the tablet and I was excited because uh, maybe it was an Arcanite bar. That would have been a good secret. I'd have been happy if the secret reward was an Arcanite bar. But it's not. It just has the same icon. Disappointing, really. Disappointing. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're going back to Reventusk Village, but we're not going to turn in any of those quests. I think this is pretty much a good point to call it for the week. It's been a good week of streams. We're struggling a little bit to come up with stuff to do in Phase 3. Well, we're not really struggling to come up with stuff. We're, we're doing plenty of things, but it's like... The things we're doing are basically just preparing for Phase 4, you know what I mean? 